Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Rose Hannerbury, um, I guess you're really extending yourself to William and being with him in his time of need. You guys, if you guys don't know, Rose Hannerbury isn't William's alleged favorite lover. No, 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 no. You stop those nasty rumors right now. Rose's lawyer has told Stephen Colbert, an American comedic comedy host, to stop it. So I think we should stop it. Now, I do find it odd. At least I don't think so. Did Rose send cease and desist to all the journalists that were had these rumors two years ago, to the people in Twitter, to I believe Tatler and all other magazines that said that Kate tried to phase out her royal rival? Again, we do not know. Of course, if Rose and William were having an affair, we do know, we do know that according to Tatler, Kate wanted her phased out because I believe why uh, uh, Kate was pregnant with their child, Louis, over Rose and William were having uh, close dinners uh, without Kate around, but you know, it's normal. It's normal. I'm sure your bestie has friends, has dinner with your man while you're not around. Right. Right. In any case, all jokes aside, Rose also is being dragged because I did a video about it. Apparently in her home, who and hall, they have been looting China and they have, uh, artifacts from the queen dynasty. Spoiler alert. It doesn't sound like they're giving them back to China, but if I was China, I would demand they be given back because that's just disrespectful. How are you going to have allegedly stole, according to the people of Republic of China, stolen artifacts and you up there like lounging, looking like some glamour, uh, boho style, like that's some bold mess. But anyway, right? Uh, Rose has denied all connection. However, the news international the the international the news has said that prince william and rose hannerbury are suffering so much to protect kate and the children <laughs> prince william and rose hannerbury they're saying are risking their reputation to keep kate middleton stress-free prince william and british socialite uh socialite rose hannerbury risked their reputation to keep the ailing Princess Kate stress-free during her cancer battle. Rose and William, who became the target of conspiracy theorists during Kate's absence from the public eye, um, why don't they talk about Tatler? Tatler just did a cover article about William, about how he's faring, why Kate's going through all this. William is a bum and a coward. That's my opinion. He can be the next king of England, but I think the next king of England is going to be a bum and a coward. Anyway, right? Um, William did all that mess. And at the end of the day, what? Like, huh? I, I, I don't get it. Tatler was the ones that started the world rival thing. Tatler, I believe that magazine put out the article that Kate won at Rose phased out. Tatler was what? Anyway, let me know if I'm wrong. Last time I read, I heard it was from Tatler. Anyway, so it's weird that you're, but then again, William likes to break bread with people that are disrespectful to other people that he supposedly love. <laughs> Harry, Rose and William became the target, blah, 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 blah. They have suffered much because to protect the Princess of Wales and her children from the heat of social media attacks. The two kept quiet and did not react to the allegations as Williams was focusing on his, on her, his wife's health and the kids upbringing at the difficult time on the family. That is very, 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 very generous of William to keep quiet while the whole world says that you are tending Rose's bushes in her garden. I'm saying he's a frequent visitor of uh, Hoot and Hall. He likes to go there a lot, you know? Anyway, Rose, who had already been, who had already rejected reports of affairs with William, also proved to be a good friend to Princess Kate as she did not fuel the fire with her, with any loose comments during the already tense situation. That was very kind of Rose. Rose, you are an angel. You are a friend. May every woman be blessed with a friend like Rose. That was very good of you. Um, da -da 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 -da. Kate's alleged connection. Wait, William's alleged connection. Well, he has a connection to Rose, but nobody knows if they're actually sleeping together. But they took many di dinners alone together in Wooten Hall. William's alleged connection to Rose. Um, 
first called attention in 2019 and some claimed that the relationship was more than friendly. Tatler claimed that and William is now doing solos in Tatler magazine. The rumor appears to have entered into the mainstream media recently as a result of another joke made about it on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Rose's lawyers have reportedly written to CBS, a television broadcast company, and various other reputable media organizations to confirm that the allegation is false. Um, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Listen, Rose is saying that it's not her. Uh, let's also not forget that every major news organization in the UK was circulating stories about Rose Hanterbury for no reason. So as much as they like to look down on the internet, they were the ones fueling speculation. But then again, we know by the way they treat Harry and Meghan, that's the way they like to play. Um, Again, let's get into this legal report because that's the thing I can't get over. They said the late show host, Stephen Colbert, was reportedly sent a legal notice by lawyers from Rose Hanbury. Um, the rumors appears to have entered into the mainstream media recently as a result of another joke made about it on the late show with Stephen Colbert. We have written on our client's behalf to CBS and various other reputable media organizations to confirm that the allegation is false. Okay, so she's saying it didn't happen. Fine. Uh, the joke he said was, the kingdom has been all aflutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. And she was disappeared. The palace admitted that they were hiding her for different reasons. And they admitted that they were lying about everything. The uh, editor of The Sun even admitted that they worked in conjunction with Kensington Palace to stage that fake Kate video. As it's being called on the internet. He said, so Stephen said, well, now internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future king of England, William, having an affair. So I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me, the Mama Eternity. What a beautiful name. He said, and then he went on to say, according to the tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off saying there was nothing to do, nothing to it. Aha. Always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. Ha ha. Imagine having a, me having a fear. It is to laugh. He said that with a British accent. Anyway, after weeks of conjuncture about her absence from the public following ab surgery, we all know Kate, Kate came out and said that she has the big C. Kate also said uh, the, well, you know what? We're not, it doesn't even matter because this has nothing to do with Kate. This has to do with Dick Kensington Palace put out the story in the News International that William and Rose are rallying around Kate so her and the children don't suffer and to protect her. Baby, they're so busy saying that they never want Harry and Meghan around and it's over and don't you dare send condolences and we didn't even tell them about Kate's medical condition. All right, cool, do what you want. Everybody's recovery is their own journey to take, but you're so worried about Harry and Meghan, maybe people need to be keeping a closer eye on Will and Rose um, protecting Kate and the kids. Are they having meetings to actually have like little powwows on how they're going to protect Kate and the kids? Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.